Hi all, welcome back. So finally the new Appian version has been launched and this is the version 24.2. This version more focuses on the total experience and the AI components of the Appian part. So we will uh, let's try to see like what are the new features that has come up with this new version. So we will try to start with the most uh, important updates that has come here. So the first important update has been the process HQ. So this is completely a new site which has been launched here for the business users as well as for the developers as well so uh, in this process HQ what actually it is so here only you can see the definition of the process HQ that uh, you can explore your data fabric and along with that your business processes as well so that you can make strategic and data driven decisions so basically this uh, site will help us to make the decision much better okay from business users can also take the decisions and even developers can see the more insightful from their process and data so in the previous version uh, if we go and look at our previous version so how it was so something like a data fabric was something like this one Till the previous version, data fabric was a very important part. Like you can see, like what are the data that are currently present in your in your environment? Okay, and you can make decisions based on that data. You can go to any data and you can see that. But in this version, along with the data, the, it is not just limited to the data. It is it has also include the process as well. So you can uh, you work with your data as it is the normal way. You can create any dashboards or charts, whatever previously we were able to do the same thing we can do still but along with that we can also work on the processes as well we can see the process as of now no process are there but uh, once any process are active or uh, active so we can see that process as well here so this has been the new addition now let's move on to our next update that is the sites. So in the sites what has been done here is that this time a preview has been added in the site. So initially it was for the portals like we can see a preview of the portals but uh, this time we can also see the preview of the sites. Any change that you will make here you will be able to see that changes here in the sites only. Directly we can see that changes. So sites preview has been introduced in this version. The next update that is added support for more plugin in the portals. For example, these are some of the you can see here in the release notes they have included like they have added more support for the plugins. Okay, so they have added carousal slider field calendar display or a range slider component as well. So these parts are presently uh, now supported in the portals as well. The next important update here is the out of the box rich text editor is there so very for the very long time this was pending so if i go here this is the rich text editor that has been introduced by appian you can find that rich text editor here in the styled text editor they have named it and this is the preview you can see here so it is the built-in editor this editor has some basic features only like making bold text italic or adding some links as well and whatever the data that you will write it will get stored in the HTML format here so you can see here these these are the HTML tags here so what about the current one that we use so the current one that is used is something like this one advanced text editor and believe me as the name suggests advantage it is really advanced when you will compare it to something like this okay it is very basic I hope that in the future it will get much more updates and they will make it much better but the current one that you will see here uh, here you can do a lot of things uh, in this one just for comparison if I try to tell you see this is one of the HTML code that is present and this is the preview of the code uh, of that HTML what if I copy the complete thing here copy it and I will go in my rich text editor it is in my RI I will paste this data and I will click on test see here now now you can see the preview how it was looking like this one here and almost similar kind of uh, preview we can get it here so this is very powerful now if I try to do the same thing here uh, so if so this is the what you will be able to see here so as of now it is a uh, not able to show all the details as it is in the HTML so this is one of the limitation but still it is good for a starting uh, starting requirements where we just need to show some basic data in a kind of uh, uh, either in a number list or in a bullet forms uh, bold italic 
okay and when we want some more advanced features we can obviously use our existing advanced text editor but we i hope so like in future they might uh, upgrade it to add some more functionality in this rich text editor as well let's move on to our next point now let's move on to our uh, next point that is the new kpi patterns have been introduced so if you go into your design mode uh, and go to the pattern just right here kpi so here you can see here kpi in card kpi overlay kpi with charts kpi with progress bar and kpi with spark line so these are some of the new kpi fields that has been introduced so these kpi fields are really much better and with this new version you can start utilizing it for your dashboards as well so a bank kpi field it has been introduced here with the help of that you can directly refer your kpi item so here see that a bank kpi field is there so it has a lot of uh, parameters attached to it so we can customize it a lot on the basis of this one so as of now i have just referred some basic basic data only here let's move on to our next things that is a new site email alerts will be sent to site object administrator now this is a very important feature initially what used to happen that let's say like if some user is facing some issues on the site uh, they used to tell us like on this site something is breaking we used to take a, we used to ask for screenshots uh, or we used to check the logs and all but this time what has been done here for example see this is uh, uh, one of my site what i will do here this is the draw uh, this is the interface what uh, okay in in order to make it error i will write it here 50 okay and click on save changes when i will go in my site here and if you check that site now let me go to the customer part when i go to the customer this site starts to fail and when the site starts to fail how we will get to know the site administrator will get a message like this one an error encountered by a user on nr customer and see what was the error i give the value 50 and the choice value was what uh, actually it was 10 20 30 so it has to be one of the 10 20 30 value but i given 50 by mistake so th this site is now breaking and we will get the error in our mails as well so it is really very helpful now in order to troubleshoot the errors we will whenever any page will start failing in the sites we will get the error alerts as well okay so now next feature is what cancel full syncs so if any uh, any sync is scheduled you can even cancel your full sync from your uh, monitoring as well record sync status so it is uh, there now query matrix in interface now in the interface part uh, if any query record or anything you have done here in the performance tab you can go and there is one uh, field called query matrix as well directly we can check the performance of query so if we are using if we are querying using any views that is slow or any records that are slow we can check the performance of the query directly from the query matrix only here let's move on to a new the uh, new features like create relationship with custom records fields so with custom record fields directly we can create relationships now other feature important feature is now included in that is generate sample data with AI so any records that you will go here uh, there is one feature called a generate sample data so this generate sample data feature it will help you to generate some samples of your data so we don't have to uh, look for data like how we don't have to worry about how to visualize the data so it will be very helpful in generating some sample data based on your record fields and the data type it will try to generate so this feature is kindly disabled so we can't try it out but uh, surely it will be very helpful in generating some sample data as well now next is what next is one of the most highlighted feature of this notes was 11 ai skills but sadly this we can't as well try it out as of now so as of now the ai skill if i go in the ai skill still three are only there uh, not all the ai skills are available in all the regions uh, as of now uh, but soon we will be able to try out as well so as of now you can see here in the classification still two are there email and document classification and for the extraction part document extraction is there so a uh, more ai skills are there so once we have them uh, live we will try to work on that ai skills as well so these are some of the major changes that has been uh, uh, released as part of 24.2 certainly appin has become much better it is uh, focusing more on the ai and uh, now from now on the projects will start incorporating the ai features as well
and one of the deprecations have been done like process mining like as an individual part it has been removed now it is moved more into the process HQ part so these are some of the important uh, changes which has been released as part of the Appian release notes so that was all for now thank you